Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete, and this is my video newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is reach for those powerful memories. I recently did an eight-mile training swim in San Francisco Bay. We swam from the San Rafael Bridge to the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'd gone into the swim, and I knew I was tired. I've, I've tra I actually had trained for 17 straight days between swimming and, uh, and weightlifting. This would be my most, this is the most intense training I've done is my, for my, this would be my sixth attempt coming up at the English Channel. That's what this swim was for, part of the training for that. And so when I went into this, and I knew I was tired, but I knew it would be a good test for me. And I was right. By the time I was about halfway through, my arms felt like cement. They were so heavy. I was going, you know, I'm going through, if, for those of you who know where Raccoon Straits is, I didn't really know where Raccoon Straits is. This is the other side of the bay. I don't normally swim on this side of the bay. And anyway, so I was going through this Raccoon Straits and, and my arms felt like lead. And I was still, I was just, you know, I was a little over halfway through the swim and I had to reach for a memory. I said, okay, you know, I was, I, I'd go, I know I've felt this feeling before. I said, where did I feel it at? And I felt it last year when I made an attempt after my English Channel attempt, which I last like almost 12 hours in that, and it got stopped by a storm. And then I went a month later, I went up to Lake Tahoe, which is a really, really difficult swim. It's at altitude, it's fresh water, so you have no buoyancy. And I went in there, my whole goal was the last 16 hours, because I think that's, that's what I think my time, the, hopefully the worst case my time would be for swimming the English Channel. And so I went up there with that mission. And I remember right from the very start, my arms were heavy. I was, I was actually dragging them in the water. <laughs> this would people were telling me later, I didn't even really realize I was that bad. But I swam for, so I had swam literally, I ended up swimming like 16 hours and 45 minutes in Lake Tahoe. I, I, didn't, I didn't make that swim, but my whole goal was just to last the 16 hours. And I actually went a lot further than I thought. And, and, I, and I, so I thought about that thought. I said, okay, I have had this heavy arm thing before to this extent and I've had it for almost the whole swim because I went into that Tahoe swim so tired. So I'm tired today, this is my 17th straight day of training. But I, I could know I only got like a couple hours left. So just so I reached for that memory, I thought about how in Tahoe I just kept going and going and going. And fact is here, I was actually staying with the swimmer I was with too, which was on top of having the heavy arms. I thought that was super positive. And so I would, so I just, I thought about that Tahoe swim and I thought about how bad I want to make the English Channel this year. And I said, my arms get heavy, which uh, also I felt that in the, in, at the very end of t in the English Channel when I was swimming in this storm for an hour and a half. And, uh, and so I was, so I felt that feeling. I said, okay, this is a great feeling to have because it's going to mentally prepare me and physically prepare me for the very end of the channel. And so anyway, so I kept swimming. And you know what? I made it! <laughs> I made it to the Golden Gate. So it ended up being a three and a half hour swim. It was solid. I got my goal, which was huge, to make it, you know, past that Golden Gate Bridge. Um, and, and it was, and I thought it was for my mind, it was very, very solid. So what I want, I think my main lesson here is when you're up against it and things aren't going right, reach for a powerful memory. Reach in there and think of a time that you had been in a similar situation and you were able to swim it. Or think of somebody else who was maybe in a similar situation and they were able to swim it. Because I also thought about the lady who swam the English Channel and did it in 28 hours. I'm like, geez, if anybody could swim for 28 hours, with he you know, their, her arms had to be heavy. So just keep swimming, Bill. Anyway, if you're interested, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. If you are, have any questions for me, you can email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com. We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this YouTube account too. It really helps us. YouTube gets to know you after you get enough subscribers. And if you're interested in me talking to your team, your group, your company, your organization, your business, you can also email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will get you out some information. Thank you very much.